This one's really light. Has it got anything in it? Look at it inside. It, it looks practically empty. I've got an AV thing here. So if I put a disc in, which I should have had handy, see if we've got any type of power on. Disc spin, that looks like it's not recognising a disc. There's a switch there, which I thought would be to tell it that the disc was in. Perhaps I'm wrong. I think that might be some kind of a break to stop the disc from spinning when you open the lid. Right, I've definitely got disc spin. No, I haven't got disc spin. The noise I did here was the fan spinning up. Okay, no disc spin. So we've got video... No disc spin. Right, so all I've done is I've tested this switch with a multimeter and it's proved working. And the little switch, the only way to test that is to change the laser. This, this is the PlayStation 2 that caught fire. And I've taken off the the motor drive and I'm just wondering if I can make it fit temporarily in there that is the original this one's the replacement if this spins we know it's that motor I suspect it's more a case of the laser being faulty but it's worth a try power on no I'm gonna go for a faulty laser assembly but I don't know if these lasers are the same. I know this one works. Oh, it did work. I wonder if I can swap that over with this one. I wonder how we'll get this off. It'll be a shame if I have to take the whole thing apart. That one goes over there with that one. Okay, so can I get that off there without too much trouble? I think it's these two screws. Put that to one side. Oh god. Does that just slide off now? Yes it does. Right, can I do the same with the other one? Lift this up. Brilliant, I think. That's a good one. That's to go on there. So now I've got to get this back onto here. Now if that goes on there, that clip must go underneath perhaps. I'm probably going to leave that little clip off for the time being until I find out where it goes. Goes underneath there, that goes to there. This needs to go back on. This is the original one. Right, on. Power on. Got a red light. Got a disc. So this is an, a different laser. Right, hang on. I've missed something off. Stop. I've missed the... I've missed this. That's got to go on there. To drive that laser up and down. Right. Power on. There we go. Look at that. Tis the laser. Right, let's bring up AV. I'll just power it off and power it back on.
Right, so the blown up one with a good laser has fixed that one. Let's put this back together. I want to find out where that clip goes. I should be able to have a look on here and work out. There's the clip. That clip needs to go back underneath there. We're going to put this one back together. Make sure I've got all the screws back in. Can I zoom in? How zoom? How much zoom can I zoom? Right, clip in place. So that's back in place. That's never been touched. That's back on. That's back on, that's back on, that's back on. Oh, the only thing I haven't done is put these, put this cable back under there. Got one side in. There. there. Right. So that's all done. That's 100%. Top. That's in. Lay it on. Controller, controller, where for art thou controller? There you go. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, the game is working. There's a huge jump in graphics between the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. So I've replaced the laser unit. Nice simple job. And I replaced, that was taken from the PlayStation 2 that my power supply blew up. There are different model numbers. This one is a 7003. This one, I'm forgetting what the name was, I think it's a 75003. But the, the laser assembly inside, the mechanism is different, you've got different ribbon cables because they connect to the boards differently but the actual unit that must be the same because it's because it's worked I should have put a new battery in here but never mind, it's only six screws so out of I bought one my power supply blew it up I bought three I got one working with a faulty which had a faulty power jack I'm getting this one working by replacing the laser and I've still got the final one to look at which is also a no disc spin so if it's a laser fault on this one as well I'm snookered because I haven't got a spare laser for it but we'll cross that bridge when I come to it meanwhile if you if you like watching me breaking things when I try to fix things Please like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. I might have a little bit of gaming. I might plug this into the big telly in the bedroom and have a bit of PlayStation 2 gaming tonight. Are you into your retro gaming? I presume you are if you've watched this all the way through. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.